Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, so it's been a couple days, more than a couple days, since I've done any of the chakra healing spreads, and I wanted to apologize. Mercury was definitely uh, taking its toll <laughs> on things, and I've actually had to um, edit completely differently. Uh, my iMovie still is not exporting, so Mercury is winning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm back again, and we're going to do the heart chakra balancing spreads for everyone. And instead of doing the long intro, which was like five minutes where I was talking the whole time, I decided to do all of the heart chakra balancing um, items or information for you at the end of the video. So if you want to watch it, it's in, it's in video form. You can pause it and just screenshot it on your phone and then you'll just have it and you don't have to sit there and listen to me talk. So I feel like everyone will be uh, more appreciative of that than having to listen to me talk because I was getting annoyed. So anyways, hope that this intro is a little bit easier to deal with. All right, <laughs> here are your readings. Hey Gemini, how are you guys doing? So today we're going to do your heart chakra balancing spread. Let's see what's going on. I ask my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, my ancestors, please help me to set aside my ego so that I can deliver the message for Gemini's highest good today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the first card is going to represent your heart chakra right now. See what's going on with you guys. Hmm. Feeling of service, feeling connected to your family, <clears throat> maybe missing family. Yeah, missing family. Okay. And how can they improve self love? Yes, how can Gemini improve self love? So <clears throat> there's a when when we choose to focus on things and it's something that makes us feel less than blissful or happy that is a personal choice that we're making to feel that way and a lot of times it's because we feel that we need to feel that way. We feel as if we deserve to feel the pain or the regret or the guilt or, um, you know, just whatever it may be that has you feeling as if someone giving you a birthday cake is nothing. This is just whatever. It's just a birthday cake with candles on it. Who cares, right? Like, it's, it's having... If there's a need to be able to change the way you're seeing things. And I just did Scorpio, and they had that too. I think it was Scorpio. I did Pisces. Uh, so what is something that they need to embrace so that they can allow self-forgiveness to come in? There's no way. And like that, like, I didn't flip that. That was okay. I don't know, maybe you guys have Scorpio in your charts. <laughs> Some of you guys have Scorpio in your charts. Okay, well, I mean, I gotta just read the cards the way I'm getting them, right? So, you need to release your fear of rejection with others. Maybe it has to do with your family. Maybe the... Maybe... Okay, so for some of you, it's there's a possibility of not being able to be happy about what's going on because of the fear of rejection of those in, within your, your life. And that's definitely what I'm getting. So family is a big one for you, especially, you know, and I'm seeing this as uh, someone else, you know, people outside of your family can't really help you with something of, you know, 
I, I deal with this as well. You know, the rejection from, and I don't want to say rejection in that regard as that, as a being a re reality of mine, but in regard to feeling rejected or feeling as if you're rejected because of maybe what you do or how you're doing things or how you're living your life. And that fear of rejection makes it really hard to see things in a way that allows you to be grateful because their fear is, <clears throat> excuse me, feeding so many other things to you that it's cutting off the ability to see how good things really are. Fear does that. All right, so what's the best way for Gemini to balance their heart chakra, please? My lights are making the camera freak out. <laughs> I'm not really quite sure what to do about this. It's just happening. Okay, so we're going to balance your... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Totally, totally, totally. The best way for you to balance your heart chakra is to co-create with source, to go into yourself and find the passion that drives you. Find whatever it is that makes you burn with a fire that doesn't have something like oh i'm only doing this because it's got money attached and i'll be able to pay my bills or i'm only doing this because if my mom doesn't see me doing this she's going to be pissed off at me or i'm only doing this because if i don't do this my husband's going to be pissed off at me or whatever the hell it is whoever it is that's had rent in your life it's time for you to ditch the worry of others and stop doing yourself a disservice by caring what someone else is going to think if someone else rejects you because of something that you do that is so connected to who you are and your soul and your heart they are not your people bye <laughs> doors right there <laughs> you know that's not your person those aren't your humans okay we all have humans that we're supposed to be around and the people that reject you for whatever it may be and if it's something that makes you happy, you're not the one in the wrong. They're on the wrong train. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, guy, but this train's going this way. <laughs> you're, you're trying to go that way. I mean, you could probably jump off and maybe not break a leg. And manifest that you're going to be cool. I'm sure you'll be fine. You know, it's time to allow those people to fall away. And what's going to be the uh, result of Gemini balancing their heart chakra, please? loss of grief so your feelings of being sad when you're you know for those of you who have had a death in the family um, just know that the physical plane that they were on here and where they are energetically now are two very different places and you're like uh, obviously because I can't see them anymore but the energetic plane that our, our loved ones ago is one that allows them to come back to us. So even though they may not be in a um, physical form here, I haven't met anyone that has come into contact with someone energetically that's a family member and they haven't known who it is. You know, it's an energy that you know. So uh, for those of you who have, have lost a family member, just know that that energy is always with you. And you can always connect to that energy based on the vibration that you're emitting. So that's really cool. And for those of you that have lost anyone, I am sorry. Uh, I did lose my grandfather a couple of weeks ago and I understand. Um, but they are in a better place because the ones that are passing now are um physically unable to handle the changes in energy 
So the energy and where they are now is a much more comfortable place for them. They're very happy. Um, uh, you know, if energy in that regard, it's a high vibrating energy. So in my mind, it's a, a happy energy. You know, the energy of love, the energy of money, happiness. It's a high vibrating energy. So uh, you come out of grief. You come out of feeling like you have lost someone very close to you. And this creation allows you to find your own center but it starts with the ability to see the things that you have already and to stop worrying about the rejection of others and there could be a rejection of self too because we do that but this i'm getting is more of other people this is this card also is referring to others outside of you so all right so let's see what your Lightworker Oracle card says, please give me a message for it. Master healing. Wow. 33. That's a master number. Wow, I love this card. It is so awesome. It's like, <clears throat> it's like this guy sat down to read a book and bam, got hit with universal downloads. <laughs> oh, you thought this was just going to be a regular book? No, you were getting universal downloads, sir. Like, this is like being everything and nothing at once, you know? It's a really awesome, powerful card. All right. Let's read this for you guys. As you meditate, remain true to what inspires your heart and commit to your spiritual path. You become an increasingly, excuse me, increasingly powerful healer. You are here to live your own life, to be true to what genuinely moves you. The unconditionally loving guide and an ascended master, Serapis Bay, comes to you now with a blessing of master healing to further your success on your path. The master, Serapis Bay, is a beloved guide for those who feel a strong soul connection to ancient Egypt. Excuse me. <laughs> For healers who are developing their own modalities and those who love to work with high frequency concepts. He also assists with the translation of spiritual inspiration into practical worldly plans. He comes to confirm that the ascended masters are aware of you. You're an integral part of a powerful spiritual team that has taken physical incarnation to help awaken consciousness into love. You are asked to tune into your heart. What do you love enough to overcome any obstacle to attain it? <clears throat> what motivates and inspires you? Not what seems possible or practical, but what is authentic. We are most powerful when we serve authentically from the heart. A bird might learn how to dive underwater from time to time, but it is never going to be its most powerful it is if it is to live underwater. It would struggle to thrive. If it were to force itself into such unnatural expressions of its life energy, the bird yearns to fly because that is its divine nature and purpose. You too have divine nature and purpose, and your heart holds the clue. What feels most like you? It is difficult to assess the truth of our own nature when we believe we should live up to the expectation of others. If we are attached to an outcome or afraid of an answer, we can unintentionally block our perspective faculties excuse me a spiritual version of sticking our finger in our ears and shouting blah 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 the blessing of serapis bay includes this clear flame of divine cleansing light this can assist us in letting go of whatever blocks us from knowing the truth of our nature when we are willing to be who we are the universe can more easily guide us to fulfill our destinies serapis bay will help you see yourself truthfully you may gain feedback from others that helps you understand the value of what you share, or you may simply find it easier to view yourself objectively with a compassionate, appreciative, and discerning inner eye. As you lean, excuse me, <clears throat> learn and accept who you are, you become a more powerful vibration for masters to put you to use in the plan of love. If you have a dream in your heart, know that it has been placed there for a divine purpose. What you dream and desire contains the seed of divinity. 
It is meant to help attract your life mission and fulfill it with love, joy, creativity, and pleasure. If we are willing to go through what is necessary for an outcome, it will happen for us. The details may appear different from what we imagined they would, but the truth remains. If you ask for something and are willing to go through the process required to have that come to life, it will happen for you. The universe is that generous, unconditionally supportive, and loving of you. It is your creative partner. It will provide you with all that you need to manifest your dreams, desires, and destiny. That's really beautiful. So, Gemini, I hope that this helped you. There's a need for you to go within so that you can find that connection with your higher self and source and create. And that's going to help you open up your heart chakra, get rid of the rejection and the grief that you feel. And it's going to put you into a whole new world because your perspective will change. And when your, your perspective change, your world changes. All right, Gemini, I hope this helped you. I'll see you guys with the throat chakra healing. Namaste.